most people tend to sleep on the Beats Fit Pros <laughs> and I'm not sure why. I think a lot of people just want to be seen rocking some white sticks in their ears just because it's the wave and it's trendy. I've always respected people who not in a sense go against the grain but people who really spend the time to find the best products for them and suit their needs rather than just spending money just picking the popular brand or the product just because that's what everyone's using. I've been using the Beats Fit Pros for a couple of weeks before it has been released going on to six months now and this has to be my favorite pair of earbuds all around there's only one thing i hate about the beast fit pros and it's the fact that there's no wireless charging but aside from that it's the perfect earbuds for me <laughs> And I already know what you guys are gonna say, Siobhan, why don't you just use the AirPods Pros or the AirPods 3rd Gen? And that's because since I started to go to the gym recently, those earbuds would not last 30 seconds in my ears. Every time I was working out, I had to be fixing them or just picking them up off the floor. It would just, it, it wouldn't stay in. And that's when I started to fall in love with the Beats Fit Pros. The name fits it perfectly. They stick to my ears like glue, and that's how it's supposed to be when I'm trying to get active. So first thing first, we're gonna talk about design and comfort. So I have the stone purple version right here, and a lot of people just call it pink. They come in three different colors though, sage gray, white, and black. I actually love the design of the Beats Fit Pro. To me, it's very modern looking and sleek, very unique, especially that flexible silicone wing tip. That's what makes these special and fit perfectly inside my ears. I did my shake test, no matter what I did, it wouldn't fall out. When I'm at the gym running on the treadmill or doing push-ups, they always stay intact even when I'm sweating. These are also IPX4 rated for sweat and water resistance. So if you try to run in the rain, it should be good. Now I know off the bat, I'm making these earbuds seem like they're only for the gym and being active, but it's great for just lounging around in the house or wearing them out casually. I do see a couple people wearing this out casually on the streets, which is nice to see. The style is great and because of the H1 chip inside, it seamlessly pairs across all my Apple devices, just like regular AirPods do. Now, one thing I must admit is that these are not so comfortable for over eight hours or more like the AirPods third gen. And I think that's just because of the wingtip and the pressure it adds to your ears over time. But aside from that, it's really comfortable. Now, in terms of the case, it's not as small as the AirPods. So boom, you can already see the size difference. Yes, it's kind of bulky. If you open it as well, you could see Beats Fit Pros, it's magnetic, so if you shake it, it doesn't fall out. It has all the quirks and features, just like any AirPods would, which I love to see. Now, in terms of the sound quality and ANC, I know that's the most important thing, especially for me. So yes, the Beats Fit Pros has ANC, active noise cancelling, and also spatial audio. All that good stuff that you find in the AirPods Pro, it's right here. I'd rate the experience the same as AirPods Pro, and I'd regard the precise and punchy audio quality as similarly impressive. It's more bass heavy, has a bass heavy sound stage than AirPods Pro, but that, that approach is like common when it comes on to beats. And I think that's the way to get a name from, like beats, bass, like... No? So yeah, the audio quality, it sounds very rich, polished. There's not much I could say here. Like if you listen to AirPods Pros before, it's like that, but with more bass. And because of this like closed wing tip, how it's like inside your ears, it's just like it's more condensed and the audio quality is just pure. You know what I mean? The highs are great. The mids are awesome. It's, it's an overall good earbuds for the price of 200 US dollars. It can't be beat. Now, another thing that's super, super important is the transparency mode. I've heard a lot of earbuds with very, very, very trash transparency mode, and this is what makes me just throw them out in a trash can. But the transparency mode on the Beats for Pro are stellar. So as I said before, this is very important to me because not every time I want to block out the world, especially living in a city like Toronto, I have to be aware of like what's going on around me to hear when my next train stop. And just it's just really safe to know your surroundings. It's just always important. And when you're taking calls and stuff like that, I haven't heard anyone complain about the mic quality. So overall, sound, mic, NC experience, 10 out of 10 for me. Now, in terms of functionality, it's nothing too crazy here. It's very easy to control these earbuds. It has a physical button on the Beats logo. So single press to pause, double press to skip, 
triple press to go to the previous track. You could also use the Hey C feature, you know what I'm saying? I had to control everything and even ask it to play specific tracks or playlists as well. Now these function and features also works perfectly on Android and even has a very seamless pairing experience, but you need to download the Beats app on the Android phones for that. But after that, you're supposed to be good to go. If you long press, that will toggle through the three ANC modes by default, but if you want to, you could change it to volume control within the Beats app or within the iOS settings app. So super simple, but one thing I must say is that sometimes when I'm at the gym and I'm trying to skip a track no when I'm at the gym and I'm trying to just fix my earbuds like position it sometimes I find myself pausing the track or it's like repeating so I, I don't know I kind of like the airpods pro version of like the stem because I feel like it's more convenient especially if you're just trying to fix your earbuds and then you find yourself switching the tracks so that's one thing I kind of hate as well, but it's not too much of a big of a deal. Now on to battery life. Honestly, I can't really tell the last time I've charged this and I've been using it for like a week and a half now. So the battery life is really good. You get six hours of playback when ANC is turned on and when it's inside the case, you get a total of 27 hours. And if you're on team Android, you don't need to walk around with multiple charges because it uses a USB-C port. In terms of reducing this, it comes with fast charging support. So in just five minutes, you could get 60 minutes of playback time, which comes in clutch if you need that pinch of a juice. And a full recharge would take up to 90 minutes, which you could just do overnight. But yes, I still do miss wireless charging, but I think if Apple did that, then it would be too much of a competition between the AirPods Pro and the Beats Fit Pro. So overall, what do I think? I think you need to try it because I've handed this over to my friends before and they're trying to use it and it couldn't fit in their ears and the wing tips are not really adjustable. Yes, it's flexible. It's not hard. It's a very soft silicone wing tip. Not, it doesn't fit everyone's ears. So you have to try it first. Just like the AirPods Pros, it does fit my ears, but when I'm working out and going crazy in the gym, it always falls out. But these, these never fall out. No matter what I do, like it just is stuck forever until I take them out. The ANC is great, water resistance, great mic quality, awesome bass, the sound is amazing. There's not much more you could want from an AirBuds for $200. And also it comes in these crazy cool colors, especially this stone purple right here. So yeah, that's my review on the Beats Fit Pro for having them for six months. The wear and tear is great, it held up well. I've dropped this case multiple times, it's still intact. It's good. So if you guys want to check them out, I'll probably leave a link down below in the description. If you think I missed on anything, let me know down below in the comments. And yeah, Beats Fit Pros over AirPods Pro. I had to say it. As always guys, love, peace, and tweaks. Signing out.